a couple of uh, productions that Improbable had done working with older people uh, in sort of different contexts. And I was very moved by the work. And what I could see that the people that they were working with had got a lot out of the uh, uh, what was a series of workshops and quite informal showings. And I felt there was potential, there was potential there to include uh, the students working uh, on the piece by adding uh, what I called scenographic improvisation, improvising with uh, light and sound and objects and set and costume elements. Oh, simultaneous with the uh, acting, if you like, improvisation. I think none of us are experienced with improvised theatre, so we're all on the same level from the beginning. So we, the whole process, we were learning together. And so it wasn't that we came in really experienced and they were had no clue what was going on. We were exactly the same. same. We were all quite scared, like really. We were like, what's it going to be? I think they were scared to improvise and we were like, how do we design for an improvised show? Like I think when we first came, none of we didn't we didn't have a clear idea, neither did they. No, and I think looks... as the weeks went on, we just got more comfortable with each other's company, and that really helped because going into a room with like 20 people, you had no clue who they were. It was quite daunting. So although we didn't sadly didn't get much time to really get to know them as we initially wanted to and got to know them to an extent yeah, we got and to became know them to comfortable extent. with each other and like friendly which was nice and that helped the process to grow and develop because we could do more with them and they felt comfortable to do more in front of us i guess from the point of view of improbable improbable have have a, 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 have improvisation in the background of everything they do um, so there is this sense that it's this sense of the danger or the risk or the last minute thing or the fact that something is always open is really important to it. Um, and uh, I, I guess in that sense it's very inclusive because essentially it potentially includes anybody. Yeah, yeah. And when you think about two, the, the two different generational groups that we've got, there, there's a set of people who've lived through a lot of different experiences of, of ups and downs and real and maybe they realise, I don't know, um, what you have to live with in, in life and what you can't plan for and what you get through. And in general, the, the sense of having to plan and structure stuff is, is becoming more and more part of the educational uh, world, isn't it? It's sort of outcomes, um, how's it going to be, is it going to succeed or fail? Um, and, you know, that has been a really an interesting one with some of the students say no we, we can't tell you how it's going to be we can't tell you what we're going to do we're going to read the room each time and the performance itself we won't know what's going to happen it will be different each night I mean there's an element of trust about it you're saying to people trust I was thinking about it I think in terms of the design students they have like maybe a, a double a double kind of challenge which is one is to design for an improvised show and the other thing is to design for a group of people um, who are not professionals and especially mm. older people um, uh, because that's the group that we're working with at the moment. Well I love the, the people that w were doing it with me. We formed quite a, a strong bond, you know, camaraderie and got to know each other quite well at this level of course and um, uh, and it, it, and that too is a pleasing thing in an older older people because your friends get less as you get older due to you know not being able to mix and travel to meet them and uh, so it, that is a very strong and very welcoming um, feeling in older people. Yes, so yes, you know the whole group was lovely and the students were superb, very warm, very welcoming and um, they seemed to enjoy it as well, they really did. In terms of um, interaction with the seniors, I've learned so much from them in, and especially during the tea break sessions when we, we had um, tea cakes and, and we had time to actually converse. I, I talked to um, one of them and, and she was in UK during World War II. Like being a Singaporean coming to UK for me in the past it was just something that I read in textbooks or watching on TV but I was hearing like a living memory 
of someone and, and I thought that was quite incredible. I realised there needs to be more of these kinds of intergenerational exchange. Actually for me, I've, I know very clearly from the start that the objectives of such a project, it's not the outcome, it's not the performance, it's the process and it's getting to know each other and it's really getting to connect with it, it's called generations, you know, intergenerational connection and, and in that process realizing and learning that they are not that different from us. We are just human beings equally bounded by the same human condition and equally bounded by the same happiness and sadness, but they've got they've got more experience and you can see in the emotions in their eyes when they when they were performing on stage. I felt it was a way that I could um, expose a young group of international students to a group of people, um, older residents, local residents, who they would never interact with in any other way. And I felt this was very important for both generations, both groups, if you like. Thank you.